Hi, how are you? Thank you. Um, thank this you. is Emma. Emma is, a, is, hi, is hi, hi. an Australian Muslim conservative. I know that's going to blow people. Up. Yep, no, it's good. I mean, look, we are, we have fellow confusing identities. So good. Well, 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 well we're, we're kindred spirits. Mind blowing identities. Perhaps. Perfect. It's mind blowing. So, <laughs> actually, I don't know if it is that mind blowing. What that I mean, people have opinions? It depends what cons what kind of conservative you are. If you're socially conservative, it makes complete sense that you're. Well, we can agree Muslim. to disagree. I mean, I will agree with you that we need to eradicate extremism, terrorism, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Our democracy in this We're country is is a certain way. We are not living in the Middle East. So, therefore, right. anyone that comes here, of course. Would you rather live in the Middle East? Would you prefer that version? I was born version? here. I don't know the Middle East. Okay. So this is my country, as right. far as I'm concerned. But, but Sharia law is not compatible with the laws here, right? So would you prefer to live, you prefer to live under law? Sharia here? But well, women's, testi laws? women's testimony being worth no, uh, half of that of a man's under right. certain circumstances. That's right, and then you'll find that Sharia law in many different parts of the Middle Eastern countries are very different. You have honour killing, you have Okay, well I gave a specific Middle example. Yeah. Do, you, do you believe okay. in that? No, I, I believe in the Sharia law. Do you think women should be able to drive? No, of course they should drive. A, a woman is equal to a man. I believe in the five. Well, pillars. not in most Muslim countries. Well, I that's mean, any, right. Anywhere, but anywhere Islam obtains, you find the routine. Uh, uh, you find the routine persecution of homosexuals and oppression of women. I mean, you're lucky you, to live here, right? Uh, absolutely, but that's not you normal. Wanna, you wouldn't want to so move behavior, any of those the countries. The behavior right? of the you, Sharia can law you, that can you name? Uh, can you name a majority Muslim country you'd rather live in than here? Name a what? Sorry. Uh, a majority any, Muslim. Do, is there any country? Forget that for a second. Is there any, any country majority you'd Muslim live? country you would rather live in than here? Okay, then I think we'll go. Good. No, but hang on a second, hang on a second. Each country each country has a certain way of their own law. You have you have countries like the Middle East that, that take away the women's rights, but that has nothing to do with Islam. So what I right. what so I want why to does say it, to you, why does it occur so often in Islamic countries? You know countries? why? Because it's been why, hijacked. Why is it you've, got, you've got people that have hijacked it with extremism, you have mm -hmm. you have some that hijacked it because they just want to be lazy, mm -hmm. and you have typical men so, who want to you know, take so I, could be, um, and, I could be murdered in 11 Muslim countries, which together comprise about 300 million people. And you'll find that's for not my, Islam. For my sexuality. And that's not Islam. But that's, okay, well, it's fine for you to say that's not Islam, but you're discounting half your own faith. No, who, no, there's a difference between Islam and Muslims. You have to understand that. It's the behavior of Muslims that can actually make Islam look bad, right? So is, so it's how you want to is interpret there anywhere, and Is there anywhere in the world, in your view, that practices Islam correctly? You know, nobody is perfect. No, I don't reckon anybody practices any religion perfectly. So, uh, so uh, <laughs> okay. So everywhere in the world there is Islam. They practice it badly, with the everybody result that they oppress women differently. and murder homosexuals. Shakespeare still tried to be translated to this date, and that's Shakespeare. There is nobody what? that can tr translate anything to the point where they what have been translating Shakespeare. It's no, in English. it's an example. It's an example. example People of are what? still he trying wrote to in English. No, don't, we don't translate Shakespeare. No, but when they do their plays <laughs> and whatnot, they are still trying but, to but what understand. The meaning is, behind Shakespeare. Are you this talking is just about an translation or interpretation? This is just the, an example. Because the, the Quran is supposed to be the final, unalterable, and perfect that's word correct. of God. So you're not supposed to translate no, but if it. You're supposed to interpret it with the help of the Hadith and the Sunnah and all the rest of it. But um, he, it depends on who he's teaching. It depends okay. on who he's teaching. So there isn't a single Islamic country or Islamic leader that gets it right. You, on the other hand, have it right. No, you I'm not saying that at you all. Are the, you, no, are, you no, hold I'm not the key to a virtuous version of Islam that none of us have ever heard of. No, I'm not saying that at all. No Muslim country operates according to, but yeah, so if we were to give you like the keys to an empty country, you would be able to create a version of Islam that doesn't oppress women and murder homosexuals. Well, I would create it to the way that God wanted peace and love, and 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 He's just, He's not unjust. As right, but, some you, but the uh, principle of Quranic abrogation, right? Look, I'm not a scholar. I'm not right, a scholar. Right. So what Quranic, I, what Quranic I, abrogation means? What it means is that uh, because the, because the Quran is is inherently in, uh, internally inconsistent, like a lot of big, long, complicated books, right? Um, Quranic abrogation is not a Western principle. It is an Islamic, uh, an accepted Islamic principle of scholarship, mm -hmm. which says that um, out of the verses that contradict one another, the verses that were revealed to Muhammad later supersede the ones that were revealed earlier. So if you you know so if you if you reorder the Quran chronologically, the stuff that came later that was revealed to Muhammad by Allah later supersedes supersedes anything that might be contradictory in the earlier and, verses. And, and who told now, you this information? Well, this is very Which well... Which scholar told, gave you this information? Did you read it out very, of the book yourself? Very and well established yeah, Islamic scholarship. So the problem that you have, right, is that the later verses, when Muhammad was a warlord, right, supersede the earlier ones, which are all the peace, love, and understanding. No, so the jihad, still, so the jihad verses that are about killing the unbeliever are the that's ones that, true. according to Quranic, that is according not true. to Islamic scholars, that is not true. And if, the are the ones is, that supersede the, the peace, is, love, and understanding. We keep, if we keep saying that, oh, Islam teaches you this, Islam, we can slap each I mean, other you're back and forth. I mean, you're challenging me on the name of specific scholars, and you didn't even. 
don't know speak. what abrogation let me meant. Let me speak. We can we can slap each other back and forth, but if we're going to keep addressing the negative of what I'm not going to slap you. Muslims, that's no, thing. Muslims like me that keep saying that's wrong. <laughs> I don't use violence. Muslims that's like your me people. That, Muslims like me that keep saying this is wrong. This is wrong, and then you keep hearing someone say, "Oh well, no, it's bad, and you're all murderers, and you're whatnot, and this is what your Quran says." How many says. times a day do how you many, pray? Hang on a second. How many times? times one second, please. Do you pray it, five times a day? Yes. Well, I try and do my best. I'm not the best. How many times a day do you yes, pray? Five times a day, but I'm not you the best. You pray five times a day. I am not the best. What's I your, miss your, a bit. I made next, that when's clear. When's your next prayer today? Listen, what time? I, oh, I won't have time until I get home. So you're not praying five times today. Do you pray five times tomorrow? I do my best. Do you do in the mosque on Fridays? I do my best. Let me finish my question. Do you go to the on Fridays? Let me finish my question. Do you go to namaz on Friday? No, I do not. I don't follow a preacher. So I don't follow an imam. Okay, <laughs> I don't. I don't want because I don't want to get confused in certain ways. Regardless, okay, what I I'm just trying don't to understand what Milo, what I'm trying to, Muslim. what I'm trying to say to you is right. Whether we keep identifying the negative and people like me saying, well, no, we're not all like that. Right? You have your opinion on so many things. We can agree, agree or disagree on so many different levels. What is your solution? If you think you have the answer to everything, please let me know. What is your solution? Expel You're saying Islam, Islam from the West. Expel Islam from the West. Yeah. Anyone so, who describes so themselves as a Muslim, send them back to the Middle East. That, say that again. Those Anyone who, who describes themselves as a Muslim, we should send back to the Middle East. So I should go back to the Middle East then. If you describe yourself as a Muslim, if you believe in the precepts of Islam and all of the things that Islam seems to produce to in those countries, I think you maybe should. Maybe you need to then understand what actually Islam means. And well, what, I understand what, what abrogation is. is. Right? I seem to understand more about the Quran than you do. I'm not a scholar, honey. Honey, you've only you you just you, <laughs> I mean, you can ask me questions about the Bible. I'll know those too. And, and you can. I mean, you, but that's easy to cherry pick. We can I'm cherry, not cherry pick. picking. It's well, like you a, have. It, I mean, it's you like, have. You've, you've cherry picked your little bits and pieces, and and you just think, okay, well, that's what I'll just address. This isn't going very well for you, is it? No, it doesn't really matter. It's not going very well for you because I'm trying to let you know that there's other Muslims than what you think and you perceive just because you see media. You said yourself, okay, everything's so fake news. Just describe to. Somebody, uh, I think that was somebody else with uh, much less nice hair. Um, is there anybody in public life you consider to be a good Muslim? My family. No, in public life. Any famous people you think are good Muslims? <sighs> Like, Ali. Muhammad Ali, thank you very DJ much. Khaled. Uh, no, DJ Khaled, perhaps? Any any rappers? Like, it should be an idea of something. But you know, you'd find that a lot of the Muslims that don't put themselves out there, you wouldn't even know that they're Muslims. I think I know there's, that there's, a lot, Muslim. there's, there's a lot of American Muslims out there who are fabulous. But again, not everything is what you, you like, see uh, in you media. Like Linda Sarsour? You think uh, she's cool? No, I don't think she's cool, actually. She's cool. What, what, I, I what don't, don't you like about Linda Sarsour? Well, because I think, I think having somebody with that platform who's spreading, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I can see in media, who's spreading hate and jihad and, and sharia, well, that's not what we want. Because she's considered an enlightened, modern... A progressive Muslim in America, so well, you don't think she her. is? No, I don't. Anybody that wants to try and and change the law so, in the country that they so reside I don't, I don't mean in, then to, that's very different. Story. I don't mean to offend you, but if you don't pray, don't lie. You do. Well, I don't care if we yeah. do, but I'm trying to get to the truth. If you don't pray, uh, you don't seem to agree with any. Uh, Muslim countries or leaders. You don't follow an imam. You don't go to namaz on Fridays. How are you Muslim? Because Islam is a submission to God. Islam, you can read the book. You seem you to be do, submitting you, to stupidity. I don't no, know if you're submitting no, to God. No, no, no. You, honey, you give, you do your five pillars. You pay your charity. You pay. Do you, you, you pay pray, your zakat? You, you pay your zakat. I pay every to, year. You, know, you, pay, your, you pay your. You I pay, pay to your. Host to you pay your mandated zakat every year, do you? I will buy. I will horse pay, shit. No, I horse do. Shit. I do. You I pay do. your zakat on I top do. of your taxes. You I pay do. your zakat. I do. And you'd be prepared pay. to publish that, would you? I absolutely. I pay, and I can <laughs> prove it. I've got recording. I can show you children, <laughs> orphans that I've given my money to you, who, who have you, thanked who me. Who did you give your zakat to? I give it to my mother. She goes and gives it to the people that are in need. Thank you very much. Where does she? Where does she live in the Middle East or something? No, she, she, she out in Syria she, building no, camps. No, darling. When she travels, she'll darling. go to she'll go to <laughs> orphans. She'll give it to children. She'll give it to because there is so no your welfare mother, in so other your countries. So your mother's on holiday in Morocco and gives a few dollars to a beggar, and that's your zakat. It's not a beggar. How much do they're not how beggars. Much the they're people pay? there how in need. How much zakat do you pay? Depends. That's personal. It doesn't depend. The cut's a very specific figure. Do you know what it is? Well, it depends on no. no I it pay doesn't for depend. my children. No, as well. it doesn't depend. It does. It does okay, depend. Okay, so so, so, you're, so, so you're taking on the cut for you and your children. I mean, with taxes, you must be left with what? Ten percent of your salary left. It's my business. Okay, so that was one pillar. What are the other four? You got to go to the pilgrimage. You've got. Have to you do done the Hajj? No, I haven't. Have we done the short one? One day, I don't. Have we done the short Hajj? The the mini one that they do. That's not the full Hajj. No, I haven't. Okay, so next pillar. Ah. Do you know the five pillars of Islam? Yeah, what are we up to? Um, 
You don't know the five no, pillars I, of Islam. No, I do. Excuse me. Don't try and twist words. I do know the five pillars. So what are the but five I'm, pillars what, of Islam? What I'm trying. Listen, listen. I know them. Do you know them? Yeah, I do. You can, you, <laughs> you can tell me what you like. What I'm trying to say to you is, is let's not just try and bring it back on me. What I'm trying to say. I'm is, just is asking very, you if you no, know no, the central tenets of I, your own faith, the I, one that you are defending so vigorously and enthusiastically with me. I, I'm asking if you know that, the central five say, tenets of your own religion, the one that you're saying is so wonderful. What I'm trying to say to you is, what I'm trying to say to you is, let's not get it about. Me. No I'm wonder you don't I'm like Muslim. Muslims. You don't know what they believe. No, 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 you no, 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 no. No wonder you don't like them in the Middle East. You have no idea about I'm it. I'm trying to explain to you that there are other different types of Muslims. You put everybody in the same category. Forget mm. about me. Let's just take it, the focus away from I'm me. I'm quite interested right? in you. No, I think let's, you're let's, get, let's get the focus away from me, right? But I'm trying to get out of you is what would you say <laughs> to people who are like me that you're putting everybody in the same category? You know, I mean, I'm not the best Muslim. Who I think cares? We've but that's that. between me and God. It's because only God can judge, darling. Uh, well, I'm judging too. Uh, so, I mean, uh, I, to your credit, I think I'd let you stay because I don't think you qualify as Muslim.